Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're playing CEDH with award-winning science educator, Kyle Hill. Oh, hello. I'm award-winning science educator and Chris Hemsworth, if you squint, Kyle Hill. If you like science, which you probably do because you're watching this channel and you're a big old nerd, search my name on YouTube, find some great sciencey videos, but it's time for some games with the boys. This video is brought to you by our sponsor, Dragon Shield. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show, Dragon Shield. If you're looking for sleeves, you can pick them up at the affiliate link down below. So we have Tyler on Kinnon, Cam on Armix Krom. I'm playing Winota, and Kyle's playing Thrasios Akiri. Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. We're, we're playing to win, where we play to win. Uh, I'll be bringing <laughs> my version of Akiri Thrasios, which I call Bruiseless Artifact Slinger Evo Advantage Nauseless Timna Blocks. Nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That sounds really good. I'm keeping a five because I don't think I have a choice at this point. Any Shall pregames? Will we play? Let's yeah, I, I just chugged a couple Bud Lights. I'm ready to go. I will draw for turn. I'm going to play Snow Covered Island and cast a Mystic Okay. And I will pass the turn. I will draw. I'll play a tapped Watery Grave and pass. I will draw a card. I'm going to play a Command Tower. I'm going to cast Giver of Runes. Like and I'll also cast Rograk, Son of Rogah. Two creature spells. Pass turn. Four Hand. Indeed. Untap up your drop. Savannah, Esper Sentinel. And then I will pass the turn. I will untap and upkeep. I will pay for the fish. Draw out a card. Play a City of Brass. Cast a mana crypt. And then pass the turn. Esper Sentinel. True. I am not going to pay for it. Drawing. All right. Oh boy. Okay. We're going to play fish. Okay. Great. Esper Sentinel. Sure. You guys can draw. I will okay. pass the turn after that. I wanted to play fish on turn one. But I figured maybe we shouldn't feed Tyler's quite yet, and then maybe I'll draw another mana source. I was not expecting another player to have another draw engine, and now we're way behind. <laughs> Untap. Draw card. Basic planes. Pass turn. Untap. I'll keep your waterlog grove. I'll tap that. Losing one life. Talisman of impulse. Not paying. Great. Great. Unbelievable. Now I'll take another. Play a noble hierarch. <laughs> Move to crombat and i'll attack cam for one i will go down i think you mean two exalted. oh yeah exalted 38 and then i'll pass it all right i will untap roll for crypt odds ouch take three I'll go to 37 i am going to pay two and keep the fish around and then i will draw off return play a wooded foothills i'm going to crack this wooded foothills going to 36 get a tropical island cast cannon mm -hmm. we'll pass from there i'll pay to keep the fish around i will get a draw i'm making the argument that i am very behind and need to get ahead a little bit i am casting a box diamond Unbelievable. Let's take more trigger. Uh, all, no all the draws may happen. I will discard a gemstone caverns. I will follow everything up by passing the turn. Sucks that gemstone caverns is the only land you have in your hand. You can't even play it to avoid the tax. It's upgraded. Yeah. It's upgraded, uh, though. You, so. have to, you have to give your opponent a card. So. I, who gives a shit? <laughs> I need them to be able to deal with each other right now so that I can stay alive. And I also need them to be able to deal with you so that I can stay alive and win through. I, I'm the only one that doesn't have a draw engine in play right now. Is that a classic case of people? over hating Winota now because we of how targeting. good it is. I have nothing in, you have nothing in play and I'm over here like guys we should be worried about Winota. Yeah, like, get the fuck. In your end step I'm going to flash in Cathar Commando. I'll go to my turn. Untap. Draw card. I'll play City of Traders. I'll tap for four and cast Winota. I have no response uh -huh. to Winota. Yeah, neither do I. Go to combat. You're good to go to combat. Declare attackers. I'm going to cast a Mystical Tutor now before something comes down that prevents me from doing that. Sure. Should we get yeah. draws. You both get draws. I cannot pay either. You Cyclonic Rift on top of my library. That is all I can do, guys, to stop us from getting run over by Winota. Okay, I'll declare attacks. Rograk at... Cam, trigger Winota one time. Eight, four, five, six. Dahlia, Guardian of Thraben, in play, attacking Cameron. I am nice. delighted I cast that mystical too. <laughs> I will go to 36. And then that'll be it. I will pass my turn. Untap, okay, draw. Scalding Tarn as my land for T. Thrasios as my Thrasios for turn. Sick Thrasios, uh, Kyle. Nice Thras, bro. You've been pumping? Bro, you've been thrassing? <laughs> you can't stop me from thrassing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You can't keep this guy from thrashing. Move to my end step and discard down a hand size. I will untap. I'm going to rope for crypt. I will take no damage. I am letting fish die. I'm very Dead. sad, but I must. I will draw the Cyclonic Rift. I'm going to play a Manamo school at Water's Edge. I will go to combat. Cameron, I'm going to attack you for two. I will take two. Very 34. Well. I'm going to pay three and cast a Sword Library. I get a draw. That's percent yep. alter. You also get a draw. I'm not going to pay the S percent will either. I will pass the turn from there. Uh, the fish is going to stick around one more oh, turn. Oh, man. Let's draw Misty Rainforest. 
crack it immediately. Volcanic Island. I'm going to pay an additional one for a Chrome Mox. That's a percentile turn. You may draw Alchemist Retrieval underneath it, and then I will pass the turn. I'm going to go to my turn and untap, upkeep, and draw a card. I'm going to go to combat. In my combat step before I declare attackers. Crack my Scalding T, Troppy Trop. Three mana. Snap targeting Winota. I get a draw. I'm going to activate Giver of Runes and try to give Winota protection from blue until end of turn. In response. I have nothing to say. Great. Tyler, you want to use that rift? You know what? I am. I am going to cast a baby rift targeting Winota. Losing one life, going to 35. I get a Esper Sentinel trigger. Can't pay either of them. I have no responses. Rift bounces Winota to my hand. Snap has no target, so fizzles. Okay. I'll go to attacks. I'm going to send Cathar Commando and Thalia at Tyler. I will take however much that is five. Tap the City of Traitors to cast Soulless Jailer. I'm going to cast this Lotus Petal. I'll pay one for the Esper Sentinel, but not for the Mystic Remora. Thank you. And also for the one extra on Thalia, which is what it costs. That's going to be it. I'll just pass my turn. Untap. No. I'll play E Orch as my land for turn. And then this Talisman, Devoted Druid. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh. Well, oh, 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 oh. Hello. La, la, la. La, la. Bunch of idiots. Don't make me rub my mustache on this microphone. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Don't do it. I don't want to hear it. Passing step and discard down the hand size. <laughs> Eternal witness. I am done. I'm on top. I will go for Mana Crypt. Take three. Ouch. Go 27. Civil Library. I will look at three cards. I will keep one extra card. Leave one on top here. So I will lose four life. Go to 23. Fucking Athalia, Dylan. Yeah. Good card. <laughs> it's, it's, do, it's doing work, man. Card's really, really powerful. Is. I wonder if anyone knows about this one. Move to combat. Cameron, I'm coming at you for two. I am down to 31. Second main. I'm going to pay seven. I'm going to activate this little goat boy. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Take your three, four, five. It's good to resolve. I'll put down. Are you kidding me? Of course. <laughs> well, Silver Library. That's why I left it on top. I am good to pass that. Go to my turn. I'll let the fish die. Dead fish. Draw for turn. Crack a bloodstain miner. Going down to 30. Grim Monolith. S percent no trigger. Kyle, you can draw. And then I will go to discard. Don't do that yet, because I'm gonna do stuff in your own step here. Great. Okay. I want you guys to not stop me because I'm trying to get to enough mana to be able to win. No, I cut ca- I cast the rift. <laughs> why did I cast the rift? That was so dumb. Yeah, guys, it's, I mean, it looks like the game's down to whoever can present a win con wins. <laughs> <laughs> Activate, can you step five? That is a void one aware. Ah, oh, come on. Good to go to your Discord king. We're going to get rid of this Rite of Flame and Underworld Breach. Okay, this fucking sucks. A uh, couple reasons. One, I was trying to like kind of push Tyler to blow his Iconic Rift a little earlier on my Winota. Now I can't cast the Winota anymore because of the void win aware. So this really fucks me up because... A lot of a lot of spells, including my Winota, are even are even CMC. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one to kind of crawl back from here. I think the Seedborn Muse was a huge turning point for Tyler. Go to my turn and draw a card. Tap City of Traders for two mana. Play Scalding Tarn. Sacrifice City of Traders. I'll just pass my turn. Preparation. And I will pay for S for Sentinel. Response. Second. Pay one and then two life to cast a Mental Mystic. What's in here, you little shit? I'm going to cast Fierce Guardianship. You pay one extra? I have two floating for the mana crypt right now. Now I have one floating from Mana Crypt. Who gets priority next? You do, Cameron. <laughs> I'm going to cast this spell on that uh, Fierce Guardianship. Tap two. That's for Sentinel Trigger. Oh, yeah, take it. Cameron, Kevin, I'm just trying to still be able to activate. And if we blow all interaction right now, then Kyle just absolutely untaps and wins. Just, sounds yeah, like this was... Tyler like, yeah, has like this a Void Winner and a Seedborn Muse in play. Hey, yes. do, you know what, do you know what combo piece with Devoted Druid costs an even amount of mana? Actually, <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, one of them does. Yeah, One of them does, not, not all of them. You can pretend like you're not the arch enemy right now, but... I'm going to pay one blue and one minute from mana crypt for the thalia attacks cast cluster storm i'm going all in boys so there's five total copies i'm gonna put four copies at dispel and one copy at mental misstep i have no responses in response i'll pay one for a deflecting swat targeting fierce guardianship at crop rotation i am passing on it oh, yeah okay. me too that's all good yes 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 yes, good yes, information. yes. crop rotation gets countered whose end step are we in again see your end step i think my yeah. end step uh, Dylan's end step yeah i still pass priority right on through so the reason that everyone chose to fight over that is because that actually takes tyler down to less than seven mana so he's not going to be able to activate kinnon right now which means he has to wait until his turn to find another land or a mana source to be able to actually generate value so although this seems like a lot of interaction to blow on this crop rotation i actually do think it is a pretty good point to make sure that Tyler can't pull even further ahead. Yeah, I think it's 
very clever of Tyler to try to politic his way out of getting interacted with here. But I think from all of our standpoints, he is the most ahead. And even though Kyle has drawn a lot of cards, he's held off on even CMCs. So it's good. it would be much harder for him to actually present something here. I'll pay one to who? Is that the owl that's looking to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Indeed it's... it is. I'll cast a worldly tutor. I will grab a fresh, delicious Seedborn Muse as well. Drawing, Sea of Clouds as my L for T. One, two, three, four, five. Holy shit, this guy knows so many numbers. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's fucking awesome. I'll play a Seedborn Muse. Muse buddies, let's go. Dude, let's let's not kill each other now. A two, Soul Ring, and- I just realized I'm supposed to be untapped, Passiosing. And I'll keep our overload for Mana Crypt. And I will take three. I will untap with Again, two. 20. We'll look at three cards with the library. Have you won a Mana Crypt roll Not, time? Nope. I'm going to take eight. I'm going to 12. Must be good cards. All Small. right, we got we got to kill him, but boys. It's got an 11 9. I'll play three <laughs> of tails. I'm going to pay for a Mox Amber. I am paying for Esper Sentinel. Copy that. Cast a copy artifact. I'm going to have that come in as a copy of Kyle's Soul Ring. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Pay seven like this and activate Kinnon in main phase. Losing one to City of Brass going to 11. My board looks like Lawful Evil and Cameron's board looks like Chaotic Good. <laughs> <laughs> I will put a Perplexing Chimera onto the battlefield. Ah, your favorite card. It's it made is. an appearance. I guess I'll move to combat. Cameron, what is your life total? Probably 30. <laughs> probably. <laughs> the fuck kind of answer is that? Pro it's probably. Th I mean, I, I don't think I, I mean, made it, a math mistake, but. Cameron, I'm attacking you with Seedborn yeah. Muse, Kinnon, and Void Winnower for a total of 15. Great, I'm down to half of my life total, almost as if I've been hit with a heartless hit at Sugo. Good to pass then. I go to my turn. Wait, um, Kyle, do you want to activate oh, the Oh yes, I sure do. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right. Sorry about that. I was too busy thinking about SpongeBob. I'm going to put a flooded strand onto the battlefield tapped. I am then going to activate Thrasios a second time, tapping for four. I'm gonna put that in the bottom. I'm gonna reveal a Gilded Drake and put that oh. into my hand, which is an even fucking spell. <laughs> oh my Wood is so good, dude. I got my card that I drew. I will play a Flooded Strand. Three mana for an okay. Armix. Yeah, if everyone's good, I'm passing an Armix for sure. Yep. Well, yep. Speaking of passing, I'll do that too. I will activate Thrasios twice, leaving two on tap mana. <laughs> Put a Mox Opal in my hand. Put a Ristic Study into my hand. Six and one of each color. I have one colorless floating in my mind. Activate kid. I whiffed. Go to my turn. Draw a card. I'll play a Wooded Foothills. I'll pass the turn. I'll activate Thrasios once. I'll put a Hollowed Fountain onto the battlefield tent. I'll activate Thrasios second time. Put that on the bottom and I will reveal a Steam Vents. That goes into play tapped. Then I'm passing. I will activate once in an instant. I will put down a Thrasios of my own. I have one floating. I'm going to use that plus these three to activate Thrasios. I reveal a worldly tutor. Cool. I am good to go to your turn if you are. Ristic Steady. Transmute Muddle the Mixture to search for an unplayable card. <laughs> I guess that costs two. I'm going to grab a Finale of Devastation. This is right here. For spells with X in their mana cost, use the value chosen for X to determine if the spell's mana value is even or not. Oh. oh, you can get away with it at an odd number then. So if you cast Finale of Devastation for X equals one, you pay three total mana. That's as far as Void Winner is concerned, an odd spell. So it's okay. I guess it looks at it when it's on the stack as opposed to when it's in your hand. It can't see your hand. It sees it only once you play it. It sees it says, oh, that's a three mana spell. Okay. Is, is that what Void Winner sounds like? I think like? so. That's how they sound. Yeah. They, oh. Like a robot? No, no, no. That's not a robot. That's an Eldrazi. Oh. That's pretty good. Crack a Flooded Strand. Being with life. Trop. A real trop. Buff little boys <laughs> with, with buff, buff little, little, buff little bodies. bodies. I'm thinking this isn't a regular Tuesday for me. Tyler's definitely going to take that from me, though. Who knows? Just do it, you know? Fucking jam it. See what happens. What? But it's like on board that it's that he's definitely going to. Only one way to find out. Yeah, but then you get <laughs> then you get the perplexing chimera then. Pass. Okay, if we're in your end step, pay to activate Kenan, leaving one floating here. I'm going to have this image enter the battlefield and see another perplexing chimera. Oh, <laughs> interesting. And activate Thrasios. I'll also activate Thrasios. Revealing a force of vigor to hand. I will reveal a uh, chain of vapor. Ooh, that's an odd. Sure is. Good thing there's two perplexing chimeras out. Shut up. Uh, Too many cards. Roll for crit. No damage. Look at that. I will look at three cards because Sylvan Library is excellent. 
I will keep only one of them. I need to activate cannon the same way I have been, leaving one colorless floating. And I will hit a hole breaker horror. All right, oh, we gotta okay. be getting close to win condition now. I'm gonna top Mox Amber for blue blue. Use my one colorless floating to cast a summoner's pact. Hole breaker horror trigger is going to target mana crypt. Um. You know, you can make Dylan use his stuff first because he has onboard removal for one of my artifacts, the Cathar Commander. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to do that right now if the table thinks that I should, if it would be any helpful in any way. I think it would. I'll fire it off now. I'm going to pay one and sacrifice Cathar Commando to attempt to destroy Mana Crypt. Cast a Worldly Tutor. I will point the Holebreaker Horror Trigger at Mana Crypt. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, is it Rhystic Study? Uh, yeah. On both of those. Sorry. I will not pay for either of them. You go nuts. And what do we do about Esper Sentinel? You get that too. So, what should I do with my Chain of Vapor here? <laughs> nah, I don't know. I... <laughs> Bouncing the Holebreaker Horror could be an option. Yeah, you could throw at the Holebreaker Horror. It's not going to go through, it's, but no, I would say throwing at the Holebreaker Horror would be the best bet, maybe. Is there any benefit for me to try to get one? perplexing chimera out of the way or is it stopping the whole i got to, nothing to in hand it doesn't uh, make a difference i don't yeah think so it. the only thing that i have to do is a fluster storm which isn't going to help period <laughs> even try these, to stop some of those tutors i guess yeah the, the problem is that like that's not like he can still make yeah, infinite yeah. mana even without these are, these no you're mistaken these aren't tutors they are just ways to bounce mana crypt. yeah exactly yeah. cast chain of vapor targeting hullbreaker horror i will choose to exchange control of fimage and that spell and i can choose a new target change the target to that it gets sacrificed goes to my graveyard and then the chain of vapor fizzles so where are we on the stack right now uh, there's a, a second tutor. bounce pointed at mana crypt i got nothing respect. cam do you want to fire for fluster storm at any point or yeah hold up we have to wait for me to crack my fetch land and search my library so oh wait no we don't i can pay for it like this i'll cast fluster storm targeting the worldly tutor for shits and giggles sure I have no response at all. Great. All right. We feel accomplished after nice. that. Nice. There's trigger. Am I good to bounce my crypt? Yeah. Well. Summoner's so back. Yeah, I have no response. Put a Llanowar Elves in my hand. I will cast the Amanda Crypts. I'm going to point the Hulbrick Horror trigger at Mox Amber. Rhystic Study? I will use the one blue floating I have to pay for Rhystic Study. Did you pay one for Thalia? Oh, uh, this is going to get ugly. <laughs> all right. I will pay one for Thalia. I will exile a Git Probe to force a negation the Mana Crypt. I cannot stop that. Exiles. Mana crypt. I'm nice. going to play a Flooded Strand for turn. Crack this Flooded Strand. Going down to nine life. Breeding pool. A what? <laughs> a breeding pool. Oh, verily. Mm. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> oh, a breeding pool. A breeding pool. Oh, <laughs> I should say so. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh. I'm going to cast the Noir Elves, and Hope Breaker Horror Trigger is going Rish to point Sorry. at Thalia. Rish Sorry, Trigger. I will not pay for it. What color is the ability that's coming at me? Blue. I'm going to, in response, tap Giver of Runes to give Thalia protection from blue. I fucking forgot about this. This shit again. Oh my god. It's nice. Be, I'm out of gas. Cameron, I'm going to come at you with Void Winnower and Seedborn Muse. I guess I'll block the 11 and take two going down to 13. Cool. 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 This dies. I'm also going to, cool. I'm actually going to 12 to crack this blooded strand. Cool. On your end step. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. 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 Very cool. I'm going to activate Thrasios twice before you Wargate into my hand. Fierce Guardianship into my hand. Oh boy. Okay. Well, on my upkeep, I will pay two and I will cast a Mystical Tutor. Ristic Study, Esper Sentinel Trigger. Draw your heart out. Hard cast Force of Vigor, targeting Grim Monolith and Ristic Study, pointing the whole bigger Horror Trigger at Thalia. Oh. Esper Sentinel, Ristic Study Trigger? Pay for both. Yeah, that happens. I have nothing to say about it. Does Grim Monolith die? Thalia has bounced. It's a two mana spell that's bounced up into my hand. Mystical Tutor? What kind of stuff is in people's graveyards? In terms of what? Cards. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like Thank, just thanks for trying to make it easier for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to get a March of Swirling Mist. I will draw for my turn, and it will be this mystery card right here. Can you guys see the mystery card? I see it. Okay. I sure do. Great. What the and hell was that? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what was that? I have to pass. I'm passing. I'm going to activate Thrasios three times. On the bottom, I'm going to reveal a Ragavan into my hand. I'm going to put a Flusterstorm into my hand. I'm going to fetch all your tapped out and do nothing else and just get lands. Go to 38. I'm going to reveal a command T into the B. Thank you. You know what that means. I'm also going to do stuff I got a P onto the B over here. Plateau onto the battlefield. Plateau onto the battlefield is what it is. I'm going to cast a Noxious Revival, paying one green. 
Hellbreaker Horror Trigger will target Seed Boy Muse on Kyle's board. Esper Sentinel Trigger. I will pay for it. The Noxious Survival is targeting the Mystical Tutor in my yard. Okay. I'll untap. Go to my upkeep, go to my draw. I'm going to cast the Sarah Ascendant. Look out. That's it. <laughs> End step. I'm going to do some activating. Activate Thrasios. Put Mystical Tutor into my hand. Activate Thrasios. Bottom. Reveal a Mental Misstep. Cast a Mystical Tutor. Hellbreak of Horror Trigger is going to target Thrasios on Kyle's board. Did you pay the Esper? I did not, but I will. Losing one, okay. going to six. Flusterstorm with all the copies coming at that Mystical Tutor. Yep. I have no response to Flusterstorm. And then Thrasios is bounced. I'm good to go. Take another one of your turns. Oh yeah, that's the name of the game. Cast a Finale of Devastation where X equals three. Activating Thrasios. I'm gonna reveal a Mox Elf, we'll put that in hand. Activate Thrasios once more. Bottom. Uh, reveal a Basalt one with. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> jeez. What the fuck does that get? Who cares? <laughs> I, I care an awful lot. I think I need to trade the Chimera. Because if that's a Gilded Drake, I'm just fucked. Well, um, it's not Gilded Drake because we saw Gilded Drake off of a Thrasios activation earlier. Dude, sh dude, sh dude, shut <laughs> up. He did it. Here, he did it. Whatever. You you successfully invaded me. I've said I'm exchanging control. Fucking take it. Whatever. So, Kyle, you have a perplexing Chimera now. Gilded Drake. Trying to exchange control of Gilded Drake and perplexing Chimera. Can, can you feel it? Can you feel the joy leaving the world? Zerda. Recast a Seaborn Muse. Birds of Paradise. I'm going to respond to Birds of Paradise. Sure thing. I'm going to cast a mental misstep for one blue. Targeting Birds of Paradise. Hullbreaker Horror Trigger is going mm -hmm. to target Seaborn Muse. Good. Discarding down a hand size. I'm done. You win. I'm going to peek. <laughs> Roll for Mana Crypts. Take three. Go to three. Ah, oh, we're so close. Draw off return. Mox Amber for blue blue. Cast a Mox Opal. Printing the Hullbreaker Horror Trigger at the Mox Amber. Okay. I will pay for Esper Sentinel since another question will come up. Great. In response, the only thing I can do here is Dark Red for three black. Four black and a blue for March of Swirling Mist, X equals four. Targeting the Chimera, the Horror, the Kinnon, and the Eldrazi. Esper Sentinel. I will not pay for Esper Sentinel. I am going to exchange control of Perplexing Chimera and March of Swirling Mist. The new targets will be Esper Sentinel, Zerda, Giver of Runes, and Sarah Ascendant. Wait, I'm sorry. I actually think I will... Maybe I should still... I, I will leave one pointed at the Esper Sentinel. So all those targets I named minus the Sarah Ascendant. I don't know what happened in Tyler's head there, but he instead exiled three cards instead of four. I think he forgot that he said Esper Sentinel already. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, I have nothing else, everybody. So Tyler, take it away. The Hellbreaker Horror Trigger bounces the Mox Amber, casts a Phyrexian Metamorph. The Hellbreaker Horror Trigger is going to target the Mox Opal. I'll respond by generating Blue Blue. Phyrexian Metamorph come in as a copy of Hellbreaker Horror. There it is. So now if you have two rocks, then all non-lands back to our hands. Yep. All non-lands back to hands, make infinite colored mana, activate can in a zillion times. I have Thrasios, so I really can just draw the deck and ultimately finale of Devastation out. Cool. Nice. Oh, we are dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Yes, that was a, a v extremely good victory by Tyler. I feel like he won the game when he was able to go Seedborn Muse into Void Winner. I don't know many decks that can really come back from that curve. That's pretty devastating. It's hard to have 16 mana to normally do that, but yeah. this is the deck. We've all seen these before. Tyler wins in the late game. Who's surprised? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patron. Baby G Bus and Demon of Rosgrees. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Once again humongous shout out to dragon shield thank you so much for supporting the show make sure you check out the affiliate link down below to pick up all of your mtg accessory needs you can follow us on twitter instagram and tiktok for more content we appreciate your viewership thank you so much for watching see you next week do we have 50 dollar patrons we have a couple what should we talk about them oh uh, hold up aj messaged me on twitter aj alwo sabi i will say that's easy yeah sorry aj aj i will say actually thank you aj that's really helpful jake twofield stashes mitchell shepherd justin eli rich d man solo nicole americovic steven schlitty big tp 15 that green guy Clinton jackson isaiah broliski Michael Lyon. Pedro. Metal Plays Games. Windwave. C. Kawaja A. Hamid. Jacob Depp. Michael Ballou. Jan Wildfang. Sleepy Jarvis. Thomas Bueno. Swampy McGee. Lauren Connell. David Nelson. Jormags. James Noon. 845. 845. 845. 845. 845. 845.